I don't feel that um, a lot of my work has sort of epiphany moments. I feel like it's much more slow boring of hard bores. You're learning a little bit at a time and you're sort of uh, getting enough knowledge together that eventually you can begin to see connections. But typically it isn't the sort of thing where I wake up one morning and I say, oh, that is a brilliant idea about American politics. I wish I had more of those mornings because it would make my life a lot easier. But a creative breakthrough sounds easy on some level. It sounds like you sort of wake up and you take the shower and it unlocks, what are, what are the, the alpha rays in Joan Allaire's book? Um, and all of a sudden you, you get this great idea. I've not found that it ends up working all that, uh, all that well, for me at least. Maybe other people's process is more that way. I find that it's much more of a kind of grinding, grueling, trying to get your head around something until you get like a 5% breakthrough from where you were before and then you get another 5% and you know you do enough of that and you end up knowing the topic pretty well but it, ain't, it, isn't, it isn't an epiphany driven <laughs> process. It's funny I think that the process of doing my work is failing all the time. Um, I think the second article I ever pitched at the Washington Monthly and I can't this was when I was an intern there and whatever my idea was my idea did not work. It, it was just an incorrect hypothesis. And I reported it out, and I learned that whatever I thought I was going to write about was not a true fact about the world. And I was talking to the editor there, Paul Glasters, and I told him this, and he said, well, that's actually your job. Your job is in part to, to learn things and in part to learn the things that aren't true. And there's no article here, but you like did your job this week. And that was actually, a, again, like a good thing to learn. Because you know, if you're going to, I think, do this responsibly, you have to be willing for the ideas you have to simply not pan out.